in the derivation of the cauchy riemann conditions uh, for checking whether or not a certain function of a complex variable is analytic, we saw that there are two formulas by which we can find f prime of z, given that f of z um, is equal to uh, u of xy um, plus i times v of xy. So given that f of z is in this form, we saw uh, in the definition of a derivative for complex functions, that is, the derivation of the cauchy riemann conditions, and I'll link that video below this one, we saw that uh, there are two formulas by which we can find f prime. One of them involved partials that have to do with x, and the other involved partials that have to do with y. Um, and here's on the right um, the one that the formula that involves uh, partials of x. So we can use this formula to find f prime um, in general, but in this specific case where f of z is equal to e to the z. All right, let's get started. So to start, we can rewrite f of z as um, e to the x plus iy, where we note that z is x plus iy. And then by exponent rules, we can write this as e to the x um, times e to the iy. But then this is equal to e to the x times cosine y plus i times sine y. And distributing the e to the x, we write that this is the same as e to the x cosine y um, plus e to the x, well, I forgot the i, plus i times e to the x sine y, right? And now, uh, if we compare this to this, we see that we've got it in the form u of xy plus i times v of xy. So all we have to do is find ux and then vx, and then do ux plus ivx, and that's going to be f prime. So then f prime of z is going to have to equal, well, if this is u of xy, what is the partial with respect to x? Well, you should know some multivariable calculus, but when we take the partial derivative with respect to x of this, um, we see that cosine y is going to be a constant, and the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So we get that ux, this guy, is just e to the x um, cosine y. Okay, cool. And then we have plus i, right? Um, and there's a plus times vx. And similarly, vx is going to be, since this is um, v of xy, vx, which is the partial with respect to x of this guy, I circled too much, but this guy, is going to be um, e to the x sine y. Again, sine y is a constant. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So e to the x sine y. But wait, this here is f of z, which is e to the z. And this here is identical to f of, f of z. So f prime of z for f of z equals e to the z is itself anticlimactically. So f prime of z here, our answer is e to the z. Yeah? Cool. All right, keep watching. There will be more examples and a lot more videos on uh, complex analysis. By the way, because the function f of z equals e to the z is um, analytic everywhere, we say that it's entire. Yeah? Cool. Take care.